Hey guys, today we're going to be doing this super fun flirty Valentine's look. It's got kissable lips, shimmering soft skin, and flirty eyes. I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm starting this look with my foundation and brows already done. And I'm using our P2 Picture Perfect Foundation as my eyeshadow base. It can be used as a concealer, eyeshadow base, and also as your all over foundation if you are that shade. I'm patting it on with our concealer brush and just making sure I go all the way from the lash line up to the brow. I'm going to go over the top of that with a little bit of cream puff powder just to set it. And this is one of our semi-translucent setting powders. They are triple milled so they're really soft and they set your foundation, your eyeshadow base, everything perfectly. Moon Gold is my go-to for the inner corners of the eyes. It really lights up the eyes so we're popping that in the inner corners and I'm also going to, uh oh, I made a mess. That's okay. <laughs> um, I'm also going to use that to highlight below the brow bone as well. Keeping it really, really thin just to highlight that arch. The next color I'm using is Tyler, and it was kind of fuzzy, so sorry you guys didn't see that well. And I'm mixing that with Doll Face. So Tyler is an eyeshadow, and Doll Face is a blush. I'm going for a really pink look and I'm just going to use that in the center of the lid, patting it on. Almost all the brush strokes you see me use is a patting motion. Getting it pretty bright so you guys can see it really well. And I'm going to use Michaela, which is kind of a reddish brown in the outer corner. I love this color for outer corners because it's really warm. It kind of warms up the whole eye but it gives it that depth that you want in the outer corner to really make your eyes pop. And Harvest Brown is kind of a pinky brown and I'm going to use that in my crease. Notice when I do the crease, I hold the tail end of the brush up a little bit so it gets in your crease, but it also gets above it for you. So it kind of does a lot of the work for you as well. I'm darkening just a little and then I've actually cleaned my brush off here and I'm going in and I'm blending it up into the brow bone and then back down the crease so you get that very well blended ombre effect you never want to have like a white line below the brow it should look like it's just going from dark to light so everything looks a little more natural after I did that, I felt like I just wanted to pop a little more color in the outer corners, so I'm just going back with Michaela right there in the outer corner. And then going in, this is with a clean brush, and I'm just stippling the lid to blend. Okay, love potion, the perfect Valentine's color. It is like a silvery, shimmery pink, and it's one of our shimmer pigments. I'm using that in the center of my lid and also going just a little bit towards the inner corner. This is our smudge brush, which I'm going to use on the lower lash line with Harvest Brown eyeshadow. This is the same color I used in my crease. And I'm just smudging that back, kind of like a pencil eraser type motion, keeping it really soft. Um, no harsh lines on the bottom lash line. You want it to look really soft. And then I'm going back in with Michaela and using that just in the outer corners of the lower lash line. Just to make the eyes pop a little bit more. Blackout Gel Liner is our waterproof gel eyeliner. And um, I'm going to give you guys a little kitty cat eye. And I'm using our gel liner brush for that perfect pointed cat eye. I always start in the center of the lid and I work my way out to the outer corner and if you notice I'm constantly going um, down below where the camera is not filming and I'm actually dipping into more product. Because it is a gel liner and I'm drawing basically on a, my lid which is powdered, um, you do want to refill the brush and it glides on really smooth bringing that wing out just a little bit. We want fierce eyes to go with this look. 
You know eyeliner is always the funnest thing to do, especially to match the two. But we are going to make it work today. There we go. That one's looking pretty good. Again, I'm starting the center of the lid. When I get to the outer corner, I turn the brush around and come back, get a little more product, and then work my way backwards from the center back to the inner corner. I've noticed when I start on my inner corner, if the brush is full of product, um, too much comes off there, and I always want the inner corner to have kind of the finest line, so I don't want too much product coming off on my eye. Get a little bit of wing going there too. And you can see how I kind of create the shape and then go back and fill it in where needed. And we actually will make them match. I always say give yourself ample time if you're doing wing liner. Even a professional makeup artist of 17 years doesn't do it in five seconds. So I'm using CoverGirl Mascara here. And generally I would curl the lashes first. My lashes are um, naturally very curly, but I would curl them immediately before the mascara. And I didn't film this part, but I actually did put on a pair of lashes. Clean up underneath with a makeup wipe, and then I went back in with the Moon Gold and the inner corners and just smudged out that bottom liner a little bit more just to keep it really soft. Now I'm going back in with our P2 Picture Perfect Foundation and this is the same product that I used on my eyelids earlier as our eyeshadow base. But again, it's your foundation, your highlighter, your concealer, your eyeshadow base, all in one product. So I use that in a triangle shape underneath the eyes and across the cheekbone. And then I'm going in and blending that out with a clean foundation brush. Bring it right down the center of the nose for a highlight there in the upper lip. Make that upper lip look a little bit fuller and I can just blend that out softly with my finger. And then same thing also for the nose. And just soften that line. And we have our highlight. Cream Puff Loose Powder. Again, we used this on the lid earlier. This is the best highlighting powder around. It's triple milled, so it's super, super soft. It does not settle on the fine lines. And it's semi-translucent, so it does have color. Doll Face is what we also used on the eyes a little bit earlier. It's one of our blush, and it gives you that perfect pink flush. Medium Contour is one of the best contour colors around. It's really warm so it never looks like too taupey on the skin. Some contours I've seen can give you kind of a gray effect and this definitely does not do that, but it's also not too red. So I always use my contour underneath my cheekbones, starting at the um, my ear, underneath my jawline, and down underneath my chin, under the tip of my nose, and down the sides of the nose along the bridge just to bring it in a little bit. And I also go in and use it um, underneath my bottom lip to create a little bit of a fuller lip there. Fairy Tale is an incredible highlighter that gives a very ethereal look. It's like a shimmery, soft pink. It goes awesome across the top of the cheekbones, on the tip of the nose to turn the nose up just a little bit. And I also use it on my Cupid's bow over my top lip just to also give a little bit of a fuller lip. See Through is a great lipstick that is a very wearable pink. If people are afraid of trying a pink lip, I would definitely say go with See Through. It's pretty sheer and as you can see it just gives you like a little flush of color. It's not um, super intense. I'm lining my lips with Cameo Liner and we're gonna go in with Buzz Lip Gloss just in the center of the bottom lip to create that perfect pout. I hope you guys enjoyed our fun, flirty Valentine's look. 
please visit us at tpfcosmetics.com to find all the products that are listed below. You can also follow our Snapchat and Instagram at The Perfect Face, Facebook, and Pinterest at tpfcosmetics.com. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day.